Hello, welcome to Crowded Lab channel. Today I will be doing Chatnode AI review and demo. This is a new Chatbot application or Chatbot tool, which just recently came to AppSumo. Well, last year we saw a lot of AI writing tools appearing, and now I can see a lot of Chatbots appearing. Let's quickly go over features, which it has. There is API integration. It means you should be able to do some actions with applications like Zapier. It has Slack integration, so you will be able to integrate your bot into a Slack channel. You can train this bot by uploading files, by uploading text directly or providing URLs. So they claim, as with any chatbot, that you should be able to replace your customer support team, or you can train chatbot on your website data and use that bot however you like. You can integrate that bot into your web page. We'll see how it will work. We can see additional settings. For example, we instruct the bot here so that it will not imagine answers and will reply only based on the data provided. By default, they use ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo. And if you will add your own OpenAPI key, you will be able to use GPT-4. And I saw in the answers on the questions that when you're using GPT-4 with your own license key, you will only be charged when you will deplete your tokens. So moving to the pricing plans available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. For the first plan, you have limitation of 2000 messages per month, then chatbots and 500,000 tokens per bot. And we can see that one token equals to approximately one word. We have some additional features, increased tokens for the plan number two and three. And you can stack up to five codes. So probably even with the first plan, you can start and use this tool. And starting from the second plan, you have ability to remove chat note printing. Here is a quick look at the regular pricing options. So for example, basic plan correlates to license tier one on AppSumo regarding how many tokens you have. However, on AppSumo, you have additional features, even for so-called basic or the first plan, because you are able to use Slack integration and GPT-4 with your own OpenAPI license key. Okay, so let's actually begin the demo. Here we can see the main dashboard of chat node and let's create a chatbot. You can upload files, PDF, TXT or doc files supported. You can add text directly and you can upload URLs. So to test the bot, let's use name ketchup website where you can check the main name and username availability. There are a few reviews, few guides on several topics. Let's use the base URL. And I believe the tool should fetch all other URLs it will find on the website. All right, so we can see that the tool found all needed URLs. We can see how many tokens will be spent on importing. And with my plan, I have some limitations. So let's eliminate some articles and let's train. All right, so I think it finished training the bot. It was pretty quick, maybe about a minute or two. And importing the URLs also was fairly quick, about two minutes or so. We can see some settings. So let's use this as default. So this prompt should prevent chatbot from hallucinating or imagining the answers. 
this line here should help with that. Creativity 0 0.1, let it be so. So the bot is very focused on the answers. Let's quickly go over some settings. So you can make your bot public or private. You can enable it everywhere and get shareable code, or you can enable it for a specific domain, like so. Let's keep it enabled everywhere for now and get back to sharing the chatbot a bit later in this demo. User info, let's collect name and save, customize. We can see some themes and settings. Let it be default chat note theme. Let's save it. By default, we are on ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo. And with ProPlan and up some more licenses, you will be able to use GPT-4. So let's send some test messages to the chat. Let the name be like so, start chatting. Yep, it works. And actually, let's move to another window, chat. So once you create your chatbot, it will be available here. You can go back to the settings and we can see the base URL or the name, we can change it. So let's test the bot here. And the first thing that I would like to test is, will this bot imagine something or will stay on point about the data it was trained on? So I would like to ask how to make the perfect espresso. And there was no such information on namekchap.com. Let's go. And it gave me the result. So based on general ChatGPT 3.5 knowledge. So I saw that in other bots as well. Let's try to modify it. If you don't know the answer, don't imagine it. Let's save and chat. Let's ask again. And now it's better. So how to make perfect espresso. And we got the honest and the right answer from a chatbot that I don't have any information on how to make perfect espresso. My knowledge is limited. That's what I was expecting. So having this ability to modify so-called system prompt is actually a very nice feature to have. Okay, so now let's continue testing chat node AI bot. Let's ask some questions about content from the articles. Let's start with this short one, how to get a free domain name. The answer was pretty quick. I see that the answer is correct. However, I believe it enhanced it with some additional data, like for example, .ga. Let's test the bot on information from name.com review. And specifically, let's ask about SSL certificates, if those are free or not. Like so, is SSL certificate free with name.com? And now I see the exact answer which is needed. We can see that SSL certificates are not free with name.com. The cheapest option to get domain security is 0 0.83 per month if you would purchase it separately or it will cost 4.99 per year per domain and actually that is great i think this is exactly what is expected from a chatbot now let's ask what kind of email options we have with name.com let's ask it like so what email options can i get with name.com when I purchase a domain, let's go. This is the correct, concise and exact answer, which was expected. Like you have two options available, Google Workspace are done. And the second option is Titan email solution. And we have some details about pricing as well. And that actually is matching the content of the article. Here is the Google Workspace add-on and the second option is Titan Email Solution. 
So I'm pretty impressed with this tool. I reviewed several chatbots and this one is the easiest to train and operate so far. And this one gives accurate results. Now let's move to another part of the review. Let's check how you can share and integrate this chatbot. Let's start with a pop-up chat. So to integrate this chat widget into your website, you need to copy this custom script and put it into your website. If you're using a WordPress, there are plenty of plugins that will allow you to do so. So I have added that to name ketchup and we can see a widget down here. Let's start chat and let's ask some questions about web.com. For example, how to get free SSL certificate with web.com. Like so, let's go. And again, this is the exactly the information that was needed from the chatbot. No SSL with base plan, but it is included with other plans. And this correlates with data from the article. Again, great response from the chatbot. With Absumo plans, you will also have ability to integrate this chatbot with Slack. For example, in one of the Slack channels, Chatnot AI will be able to answer your questions. Also, besides embedding chatbot into your website or integrating with Slack, there is option to access it through a web page. So you can share this link with anyone. So people will be able to use your chatbot. For example, like so, give me pros and cons of web.com web hosting. And again, the answer is correct based on the information from the article. As well, you can access the history. This is also important to have. So you can track and have visibility. Okay, moving to the conclusion. Honestly, I was very impressed with this chat note chatbot. All features work perfectly fine. The training was very easy and quick. It fetched all needed URLs. You can add data from file or add text directly. It has very nice balance because it has all needed features without being over complicated. It has base integrations needed. You can integrate that into your website. They have Slack. Maybe it would be nice to have more integrations like with Discord, but basics are there. A very nice feature to have is that you can customize system prompt here, as I did ask the chatbot to not imagine things and to reply only about the content that was uploaded to it. So again, to summarize, I liked using this tool. I think it is the best chatbot that I saw so far on AppSumo because it provides all the needed features, which are very easy to use. To get this tool, check the link in the description or you may scan the QR code that you can see right now on the screen. Please give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.